Today's video is being sponsored by Instant Gaming. Play smart, pay less. Thank you so much to Instant Gaming for sponsoring today's video. With being a console gamer my entire life, I've only recently moved over to PC gaming and Instant Gaming has been a lifesaver in allowing me to purchase games I've always wanted to play at a reasonable price. Instant Gaming offers discounts on all the most current titles and has massive discounts on our favourite Frontier games including Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution. Make sure to click the link above or below in the description to get some amazing games at affordable prices. Again, thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video, but without further ado, let's hop into the video, shall we? Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome back to Foxy Park as we carry on this series, as this week we are looking at the Asian area. Now, as always, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave subscribe if you are new, and if you would like to have your park spotlighted, then the Iron Gamers Discord link, the Iron Gamers, will be up in that top corner right now. Now, Yan BK is back from his holidays, so has very kindly translated the description for me, which was in French. So the description reads, Bonjour and welcome to Foxyland. This part of the park is the Asian area, which has five attractions. Pirates in China, the teacups, the fusion flying, noodles and shenlong. My thanks to the workshop and its creators. Fly over this beautiful Asian garden and I'll see you soon for upcoming areas. Big thanks to Yan BK, It's Clouds, NH99 and Iron Matty for all of your amazing work. Oh, thank you ever so much, Tony, for the shout out. I really do appreciate that. And I am so excited for this area of the park. I've intentionally left this one till towards the end, as the Asian theme is one of my favourite themes in the game. So without further ado, let's hop in and have a look around, shall we? Right, so here we are at the park entrance. Now, for anybody that has been keeping up with this Foxy Park series, you all know that I'm not going to start here. What we're going to do is we're going to have a zoom out. We're going to find the other entrance, which is all the way over here. And we're going to start the park tour over this side. So this would come from the ancient Greece area that we looked at about two weeks ago. And we'll start the tour from here. So this is part six of the Foxy Park series that we've been running for the last month and a bit. We've got one more area left, the Arabian area, which will be the end of this series. But I know that Tony is working on two more areas. So he has a Viking area upcoming and a Mexican area. And I believe there may also be a steampunk area which Jan BK was alluding to the other day. So I'm very excited for that one at some point down the line. But we have Ancient Greece back that way with Lost Atlantis. And then we come into the Asian area, which has Shenlong and the Fusion Flying, which is a B&M flying coaster or B&M wing coaster, should I say. So we've got a Vekoma family coaster, a dragon coaster right next to us. You'd think I'd be sick of seeing them right now. I'm just in the middle of recording all of the showcases for the Dragon Contest at the moment. 53 submissions. 53! Yes, you heard me right. 53. I'm not going to sleep for like two weeks. But you really would think I'd be sick of seeing them by now. But I'm not. I still love them at the moment. Ask me again in a couple of weeks. I love this as we come into this area. I like this little water feature just here with little dragons just there little dragon fountains and we've got a ride straight to our right so we have noodles which is a flat ride nice little flat ride skin just there i like how it's nestled away back here with the rocks and the foliage just working around and then this fence that comes the way around nothing too flashy nothing too fancy but it really works for the area quite in fitting with the theme with the chinese lanterns coming down and then you've even put the giant noodles right in the center yeah great little flat ride skin i really like that we've got the foxy balloon shop just in front of us there and let's carry on coming down here. So there is the exit for the coaster. So we'll bypass that and come back to that shortly. We've got the bins once again. They've made an appearance in every single park that we've seen so far. I'm a little bit low to the ground here. There's people walking into me. There we go. How rude. I'm trying to do a park tour and they're just walking into me. We've got the Chinese lanterns being hung between the trees. I'm looking forward to look at this one at night. 
with all these Chinese lanterns everywhere. I bet it's going to look amazing. You've got the dragon head lights just here. Of course, had to be used in this area. But we have Shenlong. Look how the coaster goes over. I must assume that goes over the top of the station and then through the building. Looking forward to see how that interacts. But we'll come around here, down the queue line. Come on, people, move out of my way. Move out of the way. We've got coverings anywhere where the ride goes over the top of the queue. Thinking of the safety. I love all the sound of the birds that are around everywhere. You probably can't hear because I'm talking over them. But trust me, there's birds, all right? I can hear them. Oh, there you go, just as the coaster went past us. Right. Great little station, all built inside. Kind of steering away a little bit from your previous stations in your last Foxy Pox, which have all been quite open plan stations. This one's quite enclosed, but it really works. But we have the first ride of the park, Shenlong. So let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everybody. You can't really ask for much more from a family coaster. It had a great layout. I really like the theming around it. Very simple, very elegant, just using the foliage and the rock work. The fact that it goes around the water as well, then over the exit path just there. A great ride and a great first ride at a park to go on. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. So we'll hop out of the exit and carry on down here. So just to the right, I can see another one of the popcorn stands that's appeared in every single park so far. And then just in front of us, oh, just as the B&M wing co coaster comes flying past us. Yeah, just in front of us, I can see more shops and toilets. Just like all the other Foxy parks, you're not left wanting the facilities in these parks. So much food options around everywhere. I love the look of this coaster. And then you've got the tree that is acting as the support look. Really like that. Oh, the coaster's just about to come past us again, look. Oh, that looks fantastic. I mean, they're loving it, look. They're like, yeah! Right, so we'll carry on down here. Look at this water feature. Oh! We've got a giant cherry blossom just there. Oh, that looks fantastic. Oh, what have we got going on here? So, take a photo. <laughs> take a photo with the mascot. That must be a child. That's why you've sank them into the floor. That's why that one is so much smaller. That's the child. <laughs> I love that. And there is the park entrance where we were earlier on. So we'll carry on down here. Great use, of, great use of the paint tool all around here. Can't talk today, clearly. I'm tripping over all my own words. Don't know why. Don't know what's going on. What's that say? The restaurant menus. I love this building here. Got all the seating just to the outside. Oh, that looks fantastic. And then we have the entrance for the flying coaster. Oh, let's just do it. Let's go straight on it. Normally I'd say, no, we'll come back to that. But no, I don't want to wait. We're going to go straight on it. Got a little boat just over there. And come over the bridge. Really like this queue line. 
very dynamic with a coaster going around you at all times. This is the wide Q path. A very long Q line. Which is to be expected, it's the main attraction of this area. As we come up into the station. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Right, so let's go for a ride on this then, shall we? Enjoy, everybody. I loved that. That was fantastic. Really smooth all the way around. It spends most of its time over the water. So extra brownie points for that. Yeah, just a fantastic ride. Really good layout. Very smooth all the way around. Kept up a great momentum. Not the easiest of rides to make because you've really got to think about that momentum as you go through as it doesn't have any launches or anything like that. You've got to pick up that momentum from that first drop. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Really, really enjoyable coaster. And you've even got some triggered effects over the top of the water as it goes past. Yeah, great job. So, as we hop out of the exit, this will take us back to where we were earlier on. So, we'll come over the bridge, and then we'll go back to where we were earlier on. So, back around here. And we have one more attraction left, I believe, which is a dark ride. So, we'll come through into the final area. Love this water feature. Love it. And we come through. Oh, look at this. It's so beautiful. With the cherry blossom tree right there in the centre. What have we got here? So this is... Tassis... Da -da. Ah, it's a teacups. I can say that. It's a teacups. great skin on that look at this building love that building yep great job i'm just excited now i just want to go on this dark ride we'll come round over here first before heading back to it just to make sure that we've seen everything so we've got more food and drink over here. A couple of vending machines just tucked away at the back over there. Got another mascot just over here. A little bit out of place. There isn't really a oriental themed mascot in the game. You'd think there would be. We've got a little restaurant just inside here. This is a beautiful interior. Look at the sight lines that you get, especially if you were sat there. Is this the exit for the ride, do we think? Yes, most likely. So let's not go that way. We won't do that. It's a little bit of a mix of a Asian theme and a pirate theme around here. And it blends together really well. We've got a little gift shop just over here. Got your absolutely giant t-shirts that are bigger than the guests. Got the ride photos. 
Yep, great little shop just there. Pirates in China night entrance. So we'll need to swap that tonight. We've just got a couple of more shops just down here. I believe they are TJ Puffs 92. I think. I've seen a couple of people do that. But I think they may be TJs. But right. Let's come down here. Oh, hang on. We've got a giant water feature just in the centre. Of course I had to have a quick look at that. There we go. Right. Come on. So, Pirates in China, let's swap that tonight quickly, and let's carry on down here. Very ambient with the lighting. Oh dear. He was locked up a little bit too long, somebody forgot to feed him, clearly. Love how the light reflects through the window. really like this queue line i don't even know what the ride is it clearly is some dark ride it's a dark ride of some description but I've got absolutely no idea what it is oh i hope it's not a shooting ride oh please not a shooting ride oh, i love this it's so good Right, what have we got? Oh, it's a boat ride. Okay. I was not expecting that. What kind of boat ride is it? So one that appeared in Foxy Jungle. So another one of them, I believe. Right, so really excited for this. So without further ado, let's hop on and have a look, shall we?
oh my days that was so beautiful what a ride just the atmosphere that it gives it was sensational that may be up there with some of the best or my favorite night lighting I've seen in a ride it was so beautifully done there was one area in particular I really like this effect as you come up here with these spotlights coming through I thought that gave a great effect and all the smoke everywhere and then I think it was as we came through into this area just round here and look at that yeah absolutely incredible what a dark ride what a dark ride thoroughly enjoyed that right so let's find the exit which is just down here we'll keep it at night now so we can have a look at the park at night even the exit's got a little bit of theming coming down and then we come down here where i thought we would earlier on on oh, some amazing night lighting in this one so just like last week's magic area this one's also got some insane lighting I'm so glad I left this one till towards the end because this is everything that I'm looking for from an Asian themed park great rides great scenery the architecture and the buildings were fantastic yeah I loved it absolutely loved this one I'm not sure if this one or the magic one is my favorite I can't actually decide because they're both equally as beautiful as each other but an amazing park yeah great great job once again tony you're gonna have to let me know down below what you all think but i've loved this one yeah amazing thank you ever so much for watching everybody i hope you've enjoyed this spotlight i'm gonna be back in a couple of days for another planet coaster spotlight i'll see you all then take care stay safe look after yourselves and see you all very very soon bye everybody